Assalamu alaikum students hope you understand first lecture of reviewing computer now today we are going to be start second lecture and then after this our chapter will completed students define computer and characters type of computer we have already done in lecture 1 now today we are going to be start kind of computer classification of computer basic operation of computer in this lecture students in this slide we talk about kind of computer there are three kinds of computer mainframe mini computer and micro computer now let's move on mainframe computer I have already mentioned the main point of mainframe invented in 1951 its powerful computer large storage capacity it's expensive banks and large organization use this mainframe hundred of people use at the same time now explanation it is a powerful computer that's mean it processes large number of data and definitely it has a large storage capacity to save a huge data mainframe usually use in large organization like government institutes where they have a data in a bulk form secondly a mainframe computer is used as a central processing unit for many work station mini computer Mini computer invented in 1960s. It is smaller. It is a less powerful than mainframe. It has a numerous user at a time. It used in medium size companies. Let's move on explanation. Students, mini computer is a smaller than mainframe physically and less powerful than a mainframe computer, but more powerful than PC. it is a mainly used as small range systems in other words we can say mini computer is a mid range computer it support numerous user simultaneously for example mini computer used in scientific and for engineering work like file handling and for database management students let's discuss about microcomputer microcomputer is an electronic device with a microprocessor as its central processing unit microcomputer commonly used term for a personal computer particularly any of a class of a small digital computer whose cpu is contained on a single integrated semiconductor chip it is called a microcomputer Microcomputer are the smallest and cheapest computer. They are the computer that we see in home and office and schools. A personal computer is a microcomputer. Microcomputer have been used for application including data and word processing, electronic spreadsheet, professional presentation and graphic program, communication and database management system. now student in this slide we discuss about supercomputer you can see in the bracket state of the art it's mean these devices which have a very newest and most advanced feature is called state of the art in same way supercomputer are made up of 1000 or 100 computer each with its own cpu supercomputer work on a single problem at a time unlike mainframe computer which can support many problems and user at a time supercomputers are the most expensive computers in the world they are used for solving scientific and engineering problem for example forecasting the weather and conducting nuclear research different universities military agencies and scientific research laboratories 
use supercomputer. Now, student, we discuss about classification of computer, analog computer, digital computer, and hybrid computers. Yes, student. Now we talk about the analog computer. Analog computer has a high speed, and it solves most complex equation in a second. It has a limited memory and a high speed, but performs certain type of calculation. Mainly, it is used in scientific and engineering calculation. Its work on continuous data. The continuous data means voltage, speed, temperature, and pressure, which you display output continuously. A very good example of analog is speedometer. which you have seen in a different vehicle where you get continuous data from it it's measure our vehicle speed and display a output continuously digital computer digital computer produce accurate result but slower than analog computer and it's easy to handle it's work with a discrete data Almost all personal computer are digital computers. A very good examples of digital computer are microwave, phone, some toys and games are digital computer. Now student discuss about hybrid computer. Hybrid computer is a combination of analog and digital computer. It has a speed as an analog computer and accuracy as a digital computer. It is mainly used in medical field. Computer used in a hospital to measure the heartbeat of the patient. Device used in a petrol pump, in a scientific application, or in controlling a industrial process. The very good example of hybrid computer is a car that's run on gas and electricity. Basic operation of a computer. Computer perform three basic operation: input, processing, and output. Data that is enter into computer is called input. After that, the CPU of the computer work with that data. this is called the processing data that has been processed is called output review of today's lecture kind of computer classification of computer basic operation of computer and assignments now student this is assignment 2 So now total we have a two assignment in a one chapter reviewing of computer. So now question number one is which computer is used by bank? Question number two, how does super computer differ from mainframe? Question number three, list the difference between analog and digital computer. Question number four, fill in the blanks from handout. so first you can learn these all questions from the handout and then if you wish you can rewrite these all questions on full scrap sheet or you can keep in your mind that answers